I felt so alienated and isolated. That was the beginning of realizing that I had become alienated from my friends, that I couldn't just completely explain to them what had happened with this guy without getting into a whole other discussion about all these things that I was starting to think and read and the content I was consuming. I didn't know how they would react and I'm definitely conflict averse when it comes to people that I care about. I really don't care what other people in the world think. I worry about what the people I care about think and I don't want to lose them, you know? It's really hard to find people who I can be close to and trust and really like let beyond my walls <laughs> and be vulnerable with. If I tried to be completely authentic with them, I might lose that. And so how authentic could I be and still keep them around? And how sustainable was that? You know, how long could I keep that up, you know? So I just felt that I basically had my boyfriend to talk to and that was it. I'm very grateful to so many of the content creators on here for making me feel much, much less alone. But you know, those aren't real relationships. You're just feeling like you know someone because you watch so much of their content, but at the end of the day, you don't get to have a conversation with them. And conversation with someone who accepts me for who I am, that conversation is extremely valuable to me. Soon after that, I was rejected by someone else that I was close to. Well, that one was for leaving feminism. Then later on, I would be rejected by another friend for my political beliefs. I will likely make another story time video about the friend that rejected me because I left feminism. She was a black feminist. So, should be a fun one. I'm currently going through something with someone that I have been very, very close to since I was a teenager after being open with her about leaving feminism and becoming a libertarian. I don't know if we're close friends anymore, and I don't know if we're even friends anymore. And that's something that's been, let's just say, not easy to deal with. Unfortunately, if you are being your authentic self and if you have opinions that go against the grain that aren't what your friends believe and you're friends with certain kind of people, I mean, there's like a really good chance that, yeah, you might lose friends. You have to decide how worth it is to you to be open. At the same time, I think that, you know, there is hope. I managed to find people that I can talk to, people in real life, not just on the internet, but like I said in another video, all the people that I can talk to about my life freely are men. Now, I have a couple of female friends, you know, I can talk to you about random other things. I have one friend who knows I'm not a feminist, who knows my political beliefs. We just don't really talk about my political beliefs or my anti-feminism so much. We talk about other stuff, but like, there are no women who I can discuss ideas with the way that I discuss them with the men in my life. And it's really like upsetting to me. Wish there was some woman that I could talk to about Camille Paglia and how great she is. Or like, who reads Quillette, who's like in my age range. I know it's asking a lot, so I'm probably only ever gonna connect with that type of woman on the internet. Thank you for listening. If you like this video, give it a like. Subscribe if you'd like to see more, and if you have any questions or any topics that you'd like me to do a video on, just comment below. I hope to have another video up very soon.